everyone, this is With Wendy, and today I'm going to show you how I made a varsity jacket. This jacket is something I made last year near the end of the year. It was a lot of footage to sift through, but I hope you guys are able to make a varsity jacket for yourself or Letterman jacket, whatever you call it. I modeled mine after a varsity jacket that's made by Opening Ceremony. It was worn by Rihanna, Jessica Alba. It came up a lot when I was searching up different inspiration ideas for varsity jackets. So there's the whole premise is that the body is gray, one sleeve is black leather, one sleeve is white leather. But obviously the color scheme and everything is totally up to you. If you ever want to see these instructions that I give out in written out form. On my blog I always put some drawings and some written out steps just to help guide you along. I'll also put a couple of hints on how to make this an easier tutorial because I know a jacket from scratch for a beginner is not the easiest but sometimes you just have to go for it and you learn a lot by just trying new things so don't shy away from trying out a new project. Stick around after the tutorial if you want to help answer a couple of questions that I have. Otherwise, we will get right into it so you can see how I made this jacket. Trace out the back piece of the jacket by using one of your dress shirts. For the two front pieces, give a little extra length on the edge with the snaps and repeat for the lining. With the right sides facing each other, sew them together along the shoulders. The sleeves can also be traced from the dress shirt. I made one with black leather and one with white leather. With the right sides together, pin the center of the sleeve to the shoulder seam and sew that together along the armhole. You can then sew the sides together starting from the armpit. And you can sew the sleeve shut starting from the armpit as well. The lining also has to be sealed off on the sides. Fold a strip of ribbed knit in half and measure enough to fit snugly around your wrist. Sew that piece together into a tube and then fold it in half to hide away the seam. Make sure you make two of these, one for each wrist. Take the remaining ribbed knit and sew that together along the top edge. On both ends, sew this to a rectangle cut from the grey wool. This is the bottom of the jacket so it should fit snugly around your hips. Pin this to the bottom of the jacket and distribute the stretch evenly before sewing it together. Sew the rib knit to the neckline and bring that folded edge closer to the seam as you get to the front for the right shape. The fur W was just fur on black leather and then on white leather. And now we're going to make the pockets. Fold two strips of leather in half and sew that to this lining rectangle as shown. Bring the two folded edges of the leather together and then add little stitches on the side to hold them in place as well sew down the side of the pocket to seal it off. Draw a diagonal for where those pockets will go and just make sure that it's narrower than those two notches. I cut a straight line and then added a little V on both ends. Along only the sides and the top edge of the pocket, tuck in the grey fabric and sew along the white leather. I used a seam ripper to tuck in any small corners as I sewed it down. Here you'll see that I only sewed along the sides and the top. I pulled those loose threads through to tie them into a knot. For the bottom edge, you have to flip that pocket lining out of the way so that you're only sewing through the grey fabric and the white leather, otherwise you're going to seal your own pocket shut. For the cuffs, sew that raw edge of the ribbed knit to the end of the sleeve. Glue on the monogram and attach the snap fasteners. I folded all the raw edges inwards and I attached the lining by hand. At the armhole, at the collar, I only attach the lining to raw edges that are showing up on the inside of the jacket, so that way nothing shows up on the outside. There you have 
haven't, that's the tutorial on the varsity jacket. A friend of mine who's a photographer took quite a couple of photos of me wearing this jacket recently. I have been putting them up on my Tumblr, so if you ever want to see more photos of me wearing the things that I've created, my Tumblr is full of that stuff. With Wendy.tumblr.com is where you can find that. And as usual, if you take any photos of this or you try it or you just want to tag me on stuff, you can always find me on the internet under at with Wendy. There's been a couple of people commenting and asking for me to do a room tour mm -hmm. or 50 facts about me. If you want to see either of those, let me know in the comments and I can do that for you. That's really all I had for today. If you guys like this video, please do give it a thumbs up because it means a lot to me. And if you want to see more, always feel free to subscribe. I will see you next week when I have a brand new video for you. Bye! big and challenging projects near the end of last year and one of them was this really really big tool skirt that I made for an awards gallery.